Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you everything you need to know about MCP or Model Context Protocol, which is one of the hottest topics in AI agents and large language models today. We will also build a real-world AI agent application that uses MCP server, and I will show you the code step by step. It will be super fun, so let's go ahead and get started. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I taught over half a million students on Udemy and Coursera. On this channel, I help you learn AI, AI agents, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is MCP? Well, MCP is an open source framework that was introduced by Anthropic and it simply standardizes how artificial intelligence models can talk to external tools, systems, and data sources. Think of it as a USB-C port, but for AI agents and large language models. Let me show you what I mean. So what is the problem? Well, let's assume that you have an AI agent and this AI agent could be powered by OpenAI, could be Llama or powered by Claude. And let's assume that that AI agent would like to talk to multiple tools, wanted to access maybe the Gmail or Slack or the calendar. The issue before is that you need to have custom APIs to be able to talk to all of these different tools. So what Anthropic did by releasing MCP, it basically solved that problem for us. Let me show you. So now we have the same AI agent and here I have the exact same tools, could be external, let's say weather API or any API uh, available externally. And now using MCP, which is a standardized way, now you can have a common framework where you can talk to all these different tools. Even if any change is being done on this side, now the MCP protocol is not gonna change. So you now have a standardized API or standardized language between the AI agent and all the external tools available out there. All right, so let me show you a practical application. Let's assume that we wanted to build a simple artificial intelligence agent that utilizes a currency conversion tool. Let me show you. So here, what we're gonna do is we are going to build an MCP server and we are going to use Gradio in it. And we're just gonna use one single tool and that is going to be a currency conversion tool. So I'm gonna show you in code, which is coming up next, how to build that server. It's actually pretty simple. And if you have used Gradio in the past, you will be able to just use one single line of code to expose this tool here. And now we can use MCP or model context protocol to be able to talk to that tool. So this is just the first part, which is the server part. Here, we're gonna have our client and the client is gonna ask a question. What is a thousand dollars USD in Canadian terms? So we're gonna go ahead, ask our LLM. And now what the LLM is gonna do, is gonna use MCP, which is think of it as the standardized USB-C port to talk to the server running our tool. And again, it's gonna be a universal way plug adapter for our artificial intelligence tools. And now you can get a result. It's gonna tell you, well, the result's gonna be 1,370 Canadian equivalent. So that's it. That's a quick overview of the real world application that we'll be building together. Let's go ahead, shift to our Jupyter Notebook and walk you through the code. All right, so right now we are in the Jupyter Notebook and this is just a simple demo where we have our AI agent talking to an MCP server and we're gonna be using Gradio as I mentioned before. And we, just to keep it simple, we're just gonna have one single tool, which is our currency converter tool. Please note that the currency converter tool is gonna be this one here. So we're gonna be using the exchange rate API. And I'm going to show you how to define the function coming up next. You might need to go ahead and uh, sign up for here, get the API key. And of course you would need your OpenAI API key as well to be able to configure your LLM or large language model. Okay, so let me walk you through again the uh, demo overview. 
So the problem, if you recall, how does an AI model, like a large language model, reliably use external tools, functions, or APIs? Well, what we used to do before, traditionally, is that we require a custom integration, like plugins, for each specific tool. And now, with the arrival of MCP, or Model Context Protocol, now you can simply specify or use a standardized way to talk to these tools and we'll be able to discover them as well and interact with them. So you can call the server, talk to it, ask it, okay, what tools do you offer? And then you can say, okay, please use this X number of tool or this tool and you can give it an action as well. So please note that there are multiple components here first one is going to be our MCP server and we are going to use Gradio to basically expose one of these tools via MCP and I'm going to show you how easy it is so basically if you are familiar with Gradio you can build our Gradio app and all you need to do is to say well MCP server equal to true and then it's going to expose the tools running on that server via MCP. What we have as well, which is another important component, is what we call the manifest. And the manifest is simply a standardized JSON file that is served by the MCP server. It simply describes for us what tools are currently available. And we can get kind of the name, the description, what parameters, and so on. So this is just a quick introduction. Let's move on to task number two, and let's build and run our MCP server. Please note that there is a lot of code in here. I just want you to know from a very high level, basically what is going on. So first, of course, we need to set up our OpenAI API key. And here we, uh, I stored all my API keys in the .env file. And here I'm going to import all our key libraries. Here I'm going to get our OpenAI API key from our environment file. And then I'm going to define the URL where our Gradio MCP servers will be running. So this is going to be here, uh, our uh, URL, and that's gonna be our MCP, MCP base here. And then all I'm doing is I'm gonna define our MCP tool running on that server, and I'm gonna call that basically uh, AI currency converter. Let's keep going. And here I'm going to configure our OpenAI API uh, with our key. So I'm gonna be using GPT 4.0 mini. I'm gonna get our API key for our exchange rate, if you remember this link here. And that is going to be our API key. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to define our currency converter function. So this function is simply gonna get our amount so this is going to be, let's say, I want to convert $1,000. And what it needs as well, it needs to know from what currency to what other currency I'll be using. So let's say I'm going to convert from USD or US dollars to Canadian dollars, for example. So this is going to be the amount. This is going to be the string. It's going to be USD from currency. And this is going to be the two currency string as well. Okay, let's keep going. So simply all that function does, it just calls or talks to our API here. And here we are gonna simply convert from, let's say US dollars to Canadian dollars. And this is simply our function. And here what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to build our Gradio app. So if you're fam familiar with Gradio, it's pretty simple. Here I'm just defining kind of the structure of our application. So basically I need a place where I'm gonna put the amount of dollars that I'm gonna put. I need a place where I put the from currency to currency and a place as well to display it. And basically here, this is gonna be the convert currency function, which is this function here. And this function is gonna be called when I click on the convert button. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so here I simply ran the code and now I have our Gradio application running and you can simply see currency converter live. Here I got the amount. So for example, if I would like to convert from $1,000, here I need to specify the currency is gonna be, let's say USD. I wanna convert it to Canadian. And once I click convert, that is going to call our currency converter function. 
and now should be able to see the Canadian equivalent of that thousand dollars, which is around 1300 approximately. And if you go up here, you will find that just using Gradio, all you need to do is to say MCP underscore server equal to true. And that is going to expose the tools running on that Gradio app and it's going to expose it using MCP. So now after you run it, now you can go ahead and talk to it using our MCP protocol. And of course, you can go ahead and see kind of this is the markdown of the currency converter live. And that's the title that you see here. You can also see as well here the kind of the structure of our Gradio app. So you can see, for example, that we have one from currency and this is the USD one here. And I have another one which is two currency. And this is one the one that we got here. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free, but it helps us a lot and it helps other people discover this content. And if you'd like to go deeper, please go ahead and join our free AI community. It's a great place to connect, ask questions and learn from others. As a bonus, when you sign up, I will send you all the slides and full code scripts that we used in today's video. So let's jump back into the notebook. In the next task, let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do right now is I would like to first discover the tools that are available on the MCP server. So I'm gonna assume right now that I am the client, right? So the server right now is running, right? You can also run that in a separate Jupyter notebook if you want. But here, what I would like to do is I would like to fetch our schema. I would like to get the manifest, which is simply, okay, for that tool that is running on the MCP server, what is the description of that tool, what parameters is expecting, and so on. So here, all you need to do is to simply say, I wanted to talk to the MCP server with the URL that we defined before, slash schema, and that is going to get us the schema from the server. So now if I go ahead and run it, if you press shift and enter, and then if you press another shift and enter, here we go. Now I'm fetching the schema, and here we go. So basically it's telling us that on that server, there is one tool, this tool is called convert currency. This tool here has a, an amount, which is type is gonna be number. And I have from currency, which is gonna be a string, like the USD, and to currency, which is gonna be our Canadian dollars here as an example, okay? All right, so now we got the schema, we haven't talked to it yet, we haven't actually performed an action on it yet. And that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. And uh, here, I'm going to be using OpenAI Agent SDK to build an artificial intelligence agent that is going to explore the tools available on that server. So here, I'm going to say from agents, import agent and runner. I'm going to define our agent. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it currency converted assistant. I'm going to give our AI agent clear instructions. I'm going to say you are an AI assistant with access to an MCP server exposing tools. These are the currency converter kind of uh, here information, the arguments. Here I'm specifying how to respond and I'm giving also here an example. So if I ask you convert 100 US dollars to euros, this is going to call that currency con uh, converter tool and it's going to return simply the equivalent of that 1000 USD. And here I'm specifying the model is going to be GPT 4.0 mini. So if you press shift and enter, and now what I want to do is I would like to go ahead and actually connect to our MCP server and run it with the agent. So let's go ahead and run it. So if you press shift and enter, so here we go. So now the agent is running and now I'm going to ask it, okay, what is the equivalent? What is the equivalent of, let's say 1000 USD in Canadian dollars? And now the agent is going to explore the tools that are available on the MCP server. And here we go. And now it knew that I need to talk to that tool. The tool was able to give me my feedback here, which is around 14 or $1,300 approximately. If I'm happy with it, I can just say exit. For example, you press enter and now it's going to exit that loop. And if you'd like to see what tools that have been called here. So if you go ahead and run this one, it's going to tell you what tool is going to be convert currency. The amount was $1,000, the currency from was USD, and the two currency was Canadian dollars. And that's it, pretty much. That's all I have for this quick Jupyter Notebook demo. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. 
I've got more practical AI tutorials and deep dives coming your way. And don't forget to join our free AI community where you can grab your code, slides, and connect with others building the future of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.